What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love, and today I wanted to take a quick look at the Predator Defense Dog. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe for more free content. Also, if you support the BBK9 family, be sure to stomp on that like button. It makes a huge difference for the algorithm. So the Predator Defense Dog was developed by Jason W. Price in the rural farmland of Eastern North Carolina in the early 2000s. The PDD was first officially recognized as a distinct breed by the Animal Research Foundation, or ARF, in 2012. The breed was started by crossing large and powerful German Rottweilers with old-time Johnson American Bulldogs, specifically the old Rebel Rouser and Meme Machine lines. After those original crosses, there was also a very small amount of catch-weight pit bull blood tossed in. Both hog catching lines and catch-weight game dog lines were used here to further improve the grit and drive without sacrificing too much size. The Predator Defense Dog is considered a farm utility dog. It was bred to protect the farm and family from large and dangerous predators like wolves, cougars, bears, and even human threats. They have the courage and boldness to meet an attack head-on and are known to stay engaged until the threat is neutralized. With its high prey drive, the Predator Defense Dog will work tirelessly to eradicate farm pariah and nuisance animals such as foxes, raccoons, and coyotes, as well as round up and catch feral hogs. This is a great working dog for the outdoorsman and has all the endurance needed for long treks throughout the day. This dog is large, well-muscled, athletic, and powerful. He should give the impression of strength, speed, endurance, and agility. He should also have a fearless, no-nonsense expression. Males usually stand at 25 to 31 inches at the withers and weigh between 95 and 150 pounds. Females usually stand between 22 to 28 inches and weigh between 85 and 120 pounds. With that being said, there is no strict weight or height limit as long as it doesn't compromise the form and function. The coat of the Predator Defense Dog is short to medium in length, straight, coarse, dense, and lying flat with a thick undercoat with some fringe allowed on the neck, rump, and thighs. Any color or pattern is permissible with the exception of Merle. The tail should be docked to approximately one-fourth the original length or less. The tail docking is necessary as the tail can become badly broken when defending against large predators. Secondly, the Predator Defense Dog's tails when undocked are long and thick like a bat which can be quite a nuisance in small quarters. Thirdly, docking is important for the breed overall as it gives the breed a more uniform standard of appearance. Scars received while working and hunting should be seen as a badge of courage. I'm really digging the Predator Defense Dog. I love the concept of this breed. If you'd like to know more, be sure to visit WeaponXKennels.com. Big shouts to Jason Price for providing this information. Also check out BattlebredK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. Again, stomp on that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd be so kind, give this a share on Facebook. I'll see you guys next time. I love you all. And as always, God bless.